Hey there, zappers. You know what time it is. It's the Zap Zap, 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 zap. Top, top, top 10, ten, ten, ten. Books of the Week. With Corey Brown. What's going on, guys? Corey and Dave here, uh, middle of uh, April. Uh, free comic days in a few weeks. Oh, it's coming up really fast. That's too quick. Yeah. <laughs> that's way too quick. It'll be yours. We just had day. Pokemon Day. I know, and that's uh, well, that's day. way too fast. Yeah, then it's gonna be a Memorial Day. Slow then, your cool. roll. So that's that's gonna be cool. Uh, so top ten uh, for this week. Uh, we got a lot of cool books that usually aren't on here, which is cool. That wasn't a really big week. Cool uh, books uh, are pretty cool. Yeah, I like it when I have like, to say. Uh, Last Ronin Man just mm. got options. Uh, huge seller. They they sold one hundred and forty eight thousand copies of the hardcover IDW. It is massive because right now sales are a little low on uh, graphic novels, but uh, IDW is killing it with Last Ronin. So that's awesome news. We've sold well over 200 copies here. It's great. And, and Always going to sell. I can imagine when it's like everywhere else. So amazing. Uh, congrats to Eastman and Laird on that. It's really, really cool. Uh, so number 10 is Edge of Spider-Verse book three. Ooh. They always introduce new characters in here. And then like five years from now, it'll be really expensive or not worth anything, depending on the character and what they do with it. So that is number 10. Number nine is Always. Star Wars Darth Vader, book 45. Remember I have a Vader? Every cover seems the same. It's just, it's just. Well, it's not like you same. see it. It's not like he's going to smile. It's just like, you know, <clears throat> do something else. You know, I'm tired of that. <laughs> uh, uh, Rat City, book one. They this are, is big. Yeah, they're expanding <clears throat> the Spawn universe. Like, he's going to have, like, 50 titles now. So this is a very different version of a Spawn. Um, the guy's alive, unlike, you know, Al Simmons, who had died. Um, so it's, really, it's pretty interesting. He's, a, he's an amputee, and I think he's a vet. Uh, and he's in the really bad part of the... So you know how, like, Spawn is like Venom, right? Yes. So this is like Agent Venom. Yes, it is. So it's really cool. <laughs> Meets 2099. It's interesting. So I'm glad uh, they're doing it and it sold really, really well. Looks good. Yep. And, uh, so that's that. Is he a rat? I don't think he's a rat. Well, that's a dumb name then. <laughs> is he like a little ratatouille? Does he have a little rat on his head being That'd like, be kind of fun. fight this yeah. way? Is uh, that the big reveal at the end? So number seven, uh, this sold really well. I'm really happy for this. Uh, it's uh, Action Comics books 1064. This is part one of the House of Brainiac, oh. which basically is uh, the a... army of Lobos there coming down <gasps> like crazy. So they're scrambling, and I think Lobo is actually going to help them try and figure out what's going on here. But yeah. uh, I forget the name of the race that Lobo is. It's a weird name, but Lobotion. It's, I don't know, but. It... <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I'm also excited for this because uh, Lobo, you know, of course he was big in the 90s. Uh, he looks you know. pretty big there. Big and strong for yeah. fighting. Uh, uh, two, two of our very favorite customers here love Lobo. And they buy anything Lobo, whether he's on the cover, in the book, cameo, whatever it is. Uh, Michael Scott, you know, uh, not from the office, but just as cool and fun. And also Mark Milkey. So two of our favorite uh, regulars that come in here are both Lobo fans. So I'm glad that they're getting some love. Well, they're going to have to buy this book like 20 times because he's on the cover. <laughs> also, I do notice Handsome Lobo. Everybody hated him. I thought he was funny. Handsome Lobo's back. I forgot about Lobo. GQ it, Lobo. Yeah, remember his daughter was crushed? With it? Is that crush right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. These ancient daddies comic books, fanboy. <laughs> remember that? That's what so, Lobo said about Zap Comics back and, when. And every other comic store back then. Well, Brain is looking <clears throat> so kind of... That is number seven. Uh, number six stately. is uh, Incredible Hulk, book 11. Selling very well. I know this is always on there. How's the <coughs> hair? Wait, wait, wait. We got to do our, our yeah, normal yeah, hair yeah. check. Yeah. Oh, he's growing out. Yeah. It's he's still, looking. It's, it's finally nice coming in. It's like, a, it's like, yeah. He's got that like Danzig hair though. Yeah, it's it's, it's like very thin and just like that. That just looks. He's, oh. de he's definitely not using yeah. a hair dryer. Oh, sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely not Hulk using a need to take cold shower to get more volume. <laughs> Is that what he sounds like? That's what Hulk does. <laughs> Hulk punch lady, who is also bug. <laughs> I'm just reading. He literally, like, this is the dialogue. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, wait. Stupid. <laughs> oh, this sounds like my son when his buddies were over and there was a word that he, he's not supposed to say in the house. It was a stupid idiot and just like, shut up. He's not supposed to say those. And they like quietly say it. It's pretty funny. They say butt a lot too. Dude, that's a good one to say. <laughs> Number Wait five. till they graduate to boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is Ultimate X-Men book two. 
uh, dipped a little bit. Um, the other stuff's cooling off aside from Spider-Man. Uh, the other stuff is selling, okay. Uh, Spider-Man, here you go, Amazing Spider-Man, book 47. It's Chasm. Chasm. Here you go. Look at Ultimates. Mm. And uh, his good friend, Mask Girl, Hollow's Eve. Hollow's Eve. Hollow's Eve. She kind of came out and just nothing really happened. She got a little mini series, a trade, one shot, and that was it. it they, was they need to undo all the, the messery they've done with uh, Messery? Ben Riley. Is, that a, is that a word? Yeah. Is messery a word? If it is, please look it up and let us know in the comments because I don't think messery is a word. I don't know. <laughs> uh, number three, Wolverine book 47, of course, Sabretooth War. Uh, it, it, issue 50 is going to be the, the finale of the Sabretooth War. So That's really, a brutal really cool. book. Yes, I know. We, uh, we talk about the brutality of this book. Um, Man, people are getting hurt in here. Why don't you show something for the people? I don't want to spoil. Oof, that's a lot of bloods. Yeah, there you go. Jeepers. Like that. Yeah, boom. Jeepers. Blood, blood everywhere. Blood and guts. There you go. All right. Stop. Very, very Hope cool. Hope you're not squeamish, Corey. Yeah, very, very cool. X-Men 97, book two. Woo! It's a talk of the store. I haven't heard buzz like this for anything since, like, Mandalorian season one. As far as like, everybody's watching it, everybody's loving it. I like it. The last uh, episode was a, a, a doozy. It was um, a certified Corey Brown doozy. Yeah, it was. It was pretty cool. Because um, it started out kind of like, oh, this is kind of fun, and it's like, oh, wait a minute, and they just turned the dial and this. Uh, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to spoil it right now. So I apologize. When that Sentinel showed up, yeah, and it was just like obliterating everything. Really, really cool. And, and then the everyone. ending. I don't think the ending's going to stick because of the whole. Um, Nathan and uh, Bishop stuff, um, but they might, I don't know, it's, but it is interesting. You know what I like? You never know. What I do love about it though is that it's weekly, so it ends and you have all week to complain about it and analyze it and overanalyze it and analyze it again. So you do that. If it's not weekly, you know right away. So this is why shows should come out weekly. It's awesome like that. I I'm wondering it. if they are starting Krakoa because I, I the mean, only thing they keep saying is get to the garden. Yeah, so they probably are. I know people are like, oh, they're cramming so much into this. You gotta understand, when this was being made, they didn't know if it was gonna be like one one season or like 20, so they kinda had to, this could be it. So I think the next couple seasons might be more drawn out. But right now, they're just kinda giving us, it was supposed to be just kinda like a fun thing for nostalgic reasons, and it's actually ridiculously awesome. Reintroduce the X-Men. I love it. And the, the X-Men back issues goodness. are selling like crazy, all the uncannies from like the late 100s all the way up to the 300s are selling awesomely. I, I love it. Uh, it's good. It's a lot of fun, um, and I'm glad they're doing it. And I'm hoping it's gonna pop. You know, Spider-Man will come back. Uh, all this other stuff. So it'd be great. Really, really cool. And we got some of the figures in here. Look at the Cyclops. Oof. I've always been a Cyclops fan. and everybody else hates them, but I do like Cyclops. This is really, really neat. You gotta say this. I think, frankly, really? is one of the best oh, Nightcrawlers okay. to have Nightcrawler come out also. recently. Nightcrawler is like the best character ever. I love Nightcrawler. But for their articulation, but the best is. They got the shadow yeah. over the face, which is... And he popped up in, uh, in uh, the fifth episode. And I thought that was going to be like the highlight of the episode. And they're like, oh, no, it's not. Hold on. So, again, with the ending, I think it's going to change or get reversed or something. If not, so be it. Um, as much as that character was is one of my least favorite characters of all time, it was really, really cool what happened. So it was neat. And number one, pretty easy guess, is Transformers Book 7. The reason why this is impressive is because normally when this stuff happens, like the first issue sells and it kind of dwindles down. No, we sell as many issue number seven as we did in issue one. Awesome. Awesome. And no I, I, dwindling I, I, here. I, I guarantee you it's because of this guy right here. You know. Transformers. No. Oh, above Transformers. Yeah, Daniel Warren Johnson. Oh, yeah, people yeah. People love his stuff, and he's finally on a Main Street title, and people are noticing him, and it's big. So, awesome. Awesome news, awesome. Look at cool. that art. Oh, the art's great. Oh, no. That's you know cool. who that is? I can't see, what is it? Which one? That's, that's uh, Starscream. Yeah, Starscream and Soundwave. Soundwave's the best, but why is Soundwave punching uh, oh, listen, Starscream who, who right in? Who doesn't want to punch Starscream? Yeah, but he punched some Ray in the wiener. Who? Do Transformers have wieners? <laughs> Punching wiener. Boom. Right. You see him? So you just give him a little pat. He's just like, oh. So that's it. That is it. We're done. Uh, <laughs> top top that's 10. That's it. We're, we're, we're done. Quit. We're done. Top 10. Lady Watch X-Men 97 if you haven't. Okay. Is it the best thing ever? No, but it's a lot of fun. That's it's close. a fun cartoon for like, my son likes it. Like adults like my age like it. 
Dave likes it. Optimus Prime's in this. Yep, Optimus Prime's in that. <laughs> you got Cyclops. A lot of the cool stuff. I'm gonna have to read all the issues before this to figure out why he would punch him in the wiener like that. It's probably a big plot point. Maybe it's just some, a fun thing to do. It's like, a, um, a, is it? You know, like a, a, a ritual. No, no, I didn't say we do. I said that they do. He said it's a fun thing to do. No, that they, they do. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. See you guys at the shop.